all right guys we're here for another part so um one thing i like to do before doing anything else so uh, let's go ahead and bring over the eyes to layer one and let's scale those down as well wait where's the oh yeah we have x-ray turned on <laughs> okay so uh wait is x-ray turned on for this it needs to turn off x-ray all right so let's go ahead and take these Scale them down to a reasonable size. Maybe rotate them on the Z a little bit. Yeah, that's about the size I want. Maybe bring them in a little closer. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now, what I want to do before doing anything else is uh, let's go ahead and. Whoops. Wrong thing. Let's go ahead and start moving around the basic proportions that we want. A good thing to do for this is to turn on wire and then go to subsurf and turn on uh, optimal draw so we can see where the exactly the vert points are that we're manipulating. Okay, so uh, I want to neutralize this expression because uh, we can always make the expressions later with uh, when we rig them. Okay. Let's turn on, uh, press O to turn on, uh, what's this called? Proportional uh, fall off. Proportional editing is what it's called. Sorry, I forgot. And we're just going to try to neutralize this expression a little bit. Go back into sculpt mode. Okay, now. This is bothering me here, so we're going to take this face. Press G, scale in with our mouse wheel. Move it in, and then we're going to take this, these two here outside <coughs> and move them out. And then uh, smooth them here. Now we're going to take the pinch tool, press F to scale down, and now we'll just pinch this a little bit. Then we'll pinch this up like this. And as well, we need to close this mouth a little bit. So uh, too, it's too open. Easy way to do that. Select these two. S. And scale on the Z. Let's do that one more time. Still too thin though. Select all these. Smooth, smooth, smooth. That's looking better. Still looks like paper though. Here's one of the problems. These faces are too thin. Turn off. Press O to turn off uh, proportional editing. Alright, that's a start. He looks like a robot right now. So, let's get cracking on his eyes. I don't know why I said let's get cracking. That sounds like a 90s. That'd be in a 90s movie. That kind of lyric or whatever. Or line. So, let's go ahead and start. There's a crease here that we all have. Just we have that we need to incorporate. So, these three should do it. So, what we need to do here is keep this bottom one here how we have it pull this one back then we need to pull these three or actually we can uh, add another loop and then pull these three down right oh I didn't shift select it and then pull these down and then we get the feeling of that crease pull it in towards here yep there we go Let's go ahead and select this inner edge loop here. Let's just start a uh, move it around a little bit. S Z to maybe scale this one up. Now let's go ahead and select this whole thing and press E to extrude on the Y just a little bit. Uh, 
Okay. Well, his eyes, his face seems too long, so let's go ahead and go into object mode. Select his eyes, press tab, press GZ, move him down to right about there. Maybe a little more. We'll see. Then select this here, sculpt mode, grab and just move it down. There we got his eyelid. We may want to add an eyelid for the bottom one too. Okay, another thing I want to do here is uh, oof, Let's move this in. Here we're gonna go ahead and select these two, right there. Bring these back, and bring this these two towards here like so. Bring both of these back because I want that uh just a little bit of space to be there. And then we're gonna go ahead and press E to extrude the region. E to extrude, right click, and then we'll uh, press R, Z, and rotate it. And we'll just to pull it out. Just to get that little meaty part that you see on the eye usually. It's probably a lot smaller than this, but it doesn't matter. It's a stylized character. Make sure. Well, sorry about my voice. Uh, puberty. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but we need to make sure that uh, no points are. Uh, we can't see through it, is the main concern here. And then we'll just do some poly moving here. There, that looks better. Uh, we actually might need to make this lid just a little bit longer here. Alright, let's go ahead and add that lid here too. Select these uh, three here. Up. And, uh,. Down, up. Maybe not that up. Yeah, that looks better. It looks kind of old though. Need one here too. Just a little bit of one. Alright. Mm -mm. There we go. Yeah, these parts are going to start being a lot longer. Or, or at least uh, we're not going to get as much done because there's a lot that the processing a stage. Cool. And now we have eyelids for when we want to make them blink, which is cool. Let's go ahead and turn... Do we want stuff for three? Uh, no, two is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and start bringing his nose a little better, making it better. Bring this in. Bring this out. Let's make it less bulgy. Um, let's go ahead and add a loop. Start. We need to start adding loops. So let's go ahead and add a loop here in the middle. And maybe here in the middle. Now we can uh, start. Oops, making this a little bit better. Uh, 
All right. Oh, we're cutting it close here. I need to start stopping these videos a little sooner. Need to hurry up. Almost out of time. Okay, thanks for watching this part, and be sure to watch the next one. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.